Hi, this is Jordan Buckingham. I'm on the video production team at MosquitoCurtains.com. Today I want to talk to you about troubleshooting for wind. Right now I'm in windy West Texas where we've had 12 to 15 mile an hour winds all day with the occasional gusts up to 20 miles an hour. And what you're seeing right here is a fresh shade mesh installation of mosquito curtain panels. So basically what I want to show you is that I've already done some wind mitigation on these panels that you're seeing here on this porch. But what I've done is I've undone the wind mitigation so that you can see what a fresh installation looks like if you've got some wind. So as you can see, I've got no elastic cord in. I've got no marine snap sealing the base. So basically I just have this really big floaty curtain that's going across this 30 foot face. So I've got a blower here, I can kind of show you, in addition to the 12 to 15 mile an hour winds that we're already experiencing, what can happen to your mosquito curtain in the wind. Now, this is a shade mesh installation, which is a little bit higher on the wind catching side than our heavy mosquito mesh, because heavy mosquito mesh has larger holes. This one's gonna catch wind a little bit more, so it's a perfect installation to show you how to troubleshoot for wind. So now you can see what's happening. These are bowing in a little bit and they're bowing back out with this wind that's whipping across the front of this mosquito curtain panel. So what I wanna do first is I wanna show you what happens whenever I do simple little pieces of wind troubleshooting. The first thing I'm gonna do is show you what happens whenever I put an elastic cord on the inside of this front curtain panel. So I'm just going to pull these panels back. It's on tracking, so it's really easy just to pull right back here. And now you can see the porch is exposed. So what I've got right here is some elastic cords that I've already installed. Pretty simple, D-ring in the top, D-ring in the bottom. And now I'm just going to stretch that up and put it on that D-ring right there. So that'll go inside of that panel. And I've got another one set up right over here. D-ring in the bottom, stretching my elastic cord up to the D-ring in the top. And now this elastic cord is going to be on the inside of these panels. So first, I'm just going to drag these back out. I'm going to show you what happens whenever we just put that one elastic cord in. Seal my magnetic doorway here. No problem. All right, so as you can see, we basically have similar issues going on, but whenever that curtain panel is trying to whip into the inside of this porch, you can see that this elastic cord is holding it from whipping inside there. And if I exacerbate it with this blower, you can really see how well these elastic cords work to keep that from going inside the porch. Now the second thing I'm gonna do is I've installed some marine snaps at the base of these four by four posts that are behind these mesh panels. So as you can see right now, there's really nothing to keep this from bowing way out and then bowing way back in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and snap this marine snap that I've installed at the base of this four by four post. And I'm gonna go do the same thing right here. All right, so now you can see, I've only done two simple things, an elastic cord there, an elastic cord here, and I've snapped a marine snap there at the base of that panel, and a marine snap there at the base of that panel. And just so you know, this is two large panels, one right here, one right there. So now you can see that it's already performing way better. It's not nearly as whippy, it's not coming out as far, it's not going in as far. But because it is very windy out here, I wanted to show you some additional steps that we can take to make this even better. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you another technique called pinching the curtain. So basically what I've got is I've got an elastic cord inside, but because that is whipping around and coming out to the front too, I'm actually gonna take a second elastic cord and I'm gonna go up and I'm gonna put that on there along with the one that's on the inside. So now I've got an elastic cord 
inside and I've got an elastic cord outside. I'm gonna jump over here and I'm gonna do the exact same thing. Grabbing my elastic cord, put it at the base, install it at the top. And now you can see that that's pinched there as well. So now I've basically only made two simple shifts. I'm pinching this curtain between two elastic cords. I've got a marine snap there at the base of that four x four. I've got a marine snap at the base of this four x four, and I'm doing the same pinching right here with the elastic cords. So you can see already, I've got the same wind, and I can even show you how to exacerbate it with the blower. And this mosquito curtain is already performing probably 90% better than it was before I did those two very simple fixes. So now that you see some of our sealing the base techniques and how well they can help, now I wanna jump on magnetic doorways a little bit. And a lot of people wanna jump right here whenever they have issues, but a lot of times, as you've seen, if you can use the elastic cord and marine snaps properly, you can actually take a lot of the stress off of your magnetic doorways. But I'm gonna show you two techniques on the magnetic doorways themselves to help these stay sealed. The first thing I'm gonna show you is that at the base of this curtain, I actually have an additional magnet installed. So right here, you can see that on top of the curtain that was on the bottom, I've got another one put up right there. And it was pretty simple. All I had to do was cut a seam in that existing panel and slide that magnet right in slightly above the other magnet at the base. That second magnet is actually gonna help tremendously because a lot of times whenever you see these, they try to separate at the bottom. So you can see with the second magnet there, if I use this blower, there, I can actually get that to separate. But also, as you can see, these have a tendency to just come back together on their own. So now I wanna show you the final technique for a magnetic doorway, which is a panel to panel snap. Basically a panel to panel snap is just a male snap that's installed on one panel and a female snap that's installed on an adjacent panel so that you can snap these two together with a marine snap. And what you'll find is that in addition to additional magnets that you've installed in this magnetic doorway, these panel to panel snaps are going to do an incredible job of keeping these magnetic doorways together. Now, you don't always have to keep these snapped. These might be an occasional scenario where the wind comes up really high. In this particular scenario, I've only installed one panel to panel snap here at the base of this curtain. But if you continue to have separation issues, you can actually install more of those from there up and up here. We generally tell people install one at the bottom install one here at about eye level to where the lady of the house or the shortest person in the house that would need to use it can access it and then split the difference so that you have three nice panel to panel snaps there and it'll definitely keep this from blowing open for the most part. So at this point, I've showed you several techniques that you can use to mitigate wind. I've showed you elastic cords, I've showed you marine snaps at the base of these four by fours. I've showed you additional magnets in your magnetic doorway installations, and I've even shown you panel to panel snaps. So as you can see, we've still got the same wind that we had in the beginning, but this is performing so much better than it was previously. And all I had to do was install a few of these wind mitigation techniques. And that's one of the beautiful things about mosquito curtains. This is a DIY installation, so you get to personalize it to your unique situation. You want more elastic cords? Go for it. You want them just on the inside or just on the outside? You can do that. You want more marine snaps? You can do that. And if you feel like you need more magnets or panel to panel snaps, we can help you with that too. If you want more videos about elastic cords, about panel to panel snaps, about marine snaps and sealing the base, you can see the planning section of our website and in addition you can see the installation section of our website. So with that, my name is Jordan Buckingham. I really appreciate your time. Have a great day and enjoy your new mosquito curtain installation.